Welcome to our verse of the day. Our reference is in Hebrews 11 verse 1, King James Version. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Uh, when we talk about now faith, the word now connects chapter 11 to the preceding immediate context and the latter part of chapter 10 of Hebrews. The Greek does not use the definite article before the word faith, indicating that the author is speaking of a principle. Faith deals with the future things not yet realized by the believer. So that is the definition of now faith. Okay. When we talk about is the substance, it is the confidence or assurance. The emphatic is in the Greek places, emphasis on the reality of our faith. It is active and powerful. It can overcome difficulties. Faith is a living and continuing reality. The papery used the word substance on the other hand for a title deed or the certification of ownership. Faith does not create the title deed, but it accepts what is anticipated. Objective reality does not rest on faith. Belief cannot create and neither can it make something true. Faith does, however, give assurance or confidence. It gives certainty about what one believes according to 2 Corinthians 9 verse 4, chapter 11 verse 17, Hebrews 3 14. Faith is the foundation or the title deed of our hope. Amen. So, next, the word substance refers to the confidence of faith. The Greek word means something placed or set under, referring to the substructure or foundation of something, which is according to Hebrews 3.14. It is the evidence that causes one to agree fully or come to grips with what is true. It is the convicting evidence. A foundation makes something secure or firm. It is something that has actual existence, a real thing or objective reality. It is the basis of our hope. We can count on it. The substance substantiates God's promises in our lives, mga kapatid, and makes His promises a present reality. Amen. The promises of the world becomes reality if we have faith. Substance is the underlying structure of something that stands in contrast to what only seems to be. Amen. It is objective guarantee of what God promises. His promises are of something and it is no appearance but the genuine thing. Amen. So we are guaranteed that what we have believed according to our faith, God will guarantee His promises. Faith rests its case on firm ground. The ground or structure of faith is promises in the word of God. Amen. The issue is not the certainty of belief, but the truth belief. Amen. So faith is what God revealed, gives substance of what we believe. Faith in God's word gives content or substance to understanding God in his creation. Faith then is to believe in God's testimony. It is the ground of the believer's present expectation and the future of and the ground of future things. So faith is very important, mga kapatid. Amen. As we go along with our maturity sa ating pong pagdilikod sa Diyos. Once again, ang ating pong verse of the day is came from Hebrews 11 verse 1. Thank you very much and